this is like kind of getting crazy, bro, bro. There's no way in hell the sons didn't see anything, bro. That's his son's right there being arrested. They fucking yeah. manhandled him and put him outside. I know the older one doesn't have a good relationship with him, and who fucking knows why? Like Quincy. Yeah. yeah. I bet you he know we. I bet you this is, has something to do with it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. you, you're not gonna approve of that. I mean, realistically, bro. Like, I, that's just crazy. Damn, they didn't even list Quincy on there. Once, five, throw them twenties. Looking dumb in the club, throw no money. Didn't want me, it's so funny. Now nah, they get killing, go get her or go for me. I done made a couple of hundred through pandemic. Hard six Vegas like P, no damn limit. Yo ass nigga, money was short, that damn midget. Lifestyle rubbers won't work, I can't fit it. Then he plus the fuck a Netflix. Get her on the proms and I'm hitting the next bitch. Bitch, your last nigga don't exist. What's going on, guys? What's good? Big Chief here. Welcome back to another episode of To Be Blunt. I'm here with your co-host, D -D DJ Birdwater. Birdwater in the building. You already know. Rolling up, twisting up. It's about that time. Smoking some new, new right now. I did not break my fast with the blunt today. I ate a Good sandwich. Shit. You feel me? I ate an orange. You know what I mean? So whoever out there is saying, what kind of cloth are you from? Oh, a different one. Different. Dude, yeah. well, and the bro has four different strains rolled up right now. Yeah, so four. I'll show He's you. ready. This right here is the homie from Cure Company, my homie Daily. And I'm not Cure Company. Originals, my homie Daily. Shout out to Cure Company, though. They uh, He got me some shit right here. I don't know exactly what the strain is, but it's the OG cross. It's very gassy. The second strain I got here is the Blue Moon OG. Third strain, I got the Yellow uh, yellow Thumb uh, Sherbanger 22. Shout out First Class Genetics. Then and lastly, I got the Baghettis by Blue Moon. This hasn't dropped yet. Actually, get a closer look at That's this That's what shit. I'm rolling up right now. This hasn't dropped yet, but this is a... Last blunt. I'm gonna give you that real exclusive. They the homies opinion. always like smoke this shit if you like it. I'm gonna drop it. If it's not, if it's you don't like it, it's ass. And I'm like, damn, my opinion really matters, huh? We're gonna he goes, see yeah. Right now, and I'm gonna keep it a thousand to be blunt. You have to keep it. Uh, he said, if you don't like it, he'll change the cut. So like that's it smelled really gassy to because me. Because Blue Moon has some fire gelato they put out. They use a fire strain OG. So let's see. The homie Brandon this week told me after like, I always smoke like three, four new strains every day, no matter what it is. And he looks at me, he goes, the way you describe this shit is so fucking nerdy. You could become super famous just off of fucking smoking, like just looking at weed, uh, talking about different weed. Because mm -hmm. every time I find a strain, I put all my homies on. Yeah. And they fuck with the strain. They you move. do, yeah, you tell us. So like literally this whole week, I've been, I can't smoke during the day, so I've been saving all sorts of weed. Been giving it to the homies, but yeah, like this week was very, very like entertaining. Yeah, we had stuff like fucking Kendrick and Drake going at it that we're gonna go to. Did you Ooh. see that? I, I'm Why just, do you think they're going at it? Did you look at the backstory? <laughs> I uh, so apparently F Kendrick is going at Fu uh, Drake because the future is going at Drake, right? Future and Drake beef for yeah. sure. Now, so apparently Kendrick jumped jumped on a verse with Future's new album, right? So in, in, Future and Metro, he, we don't trust you. Yeah, so he's dissing Drake. You know they don't like each other for a while now. I've been knowing them for I like past two years. Yeah. Nah, they don't like each other, bro. I thought they did. They did, but some shit happened. It's not because of a girl. They keep saying it's because of a girl. Mm -hmm. It's like some weird shit happened on the back end that they're like, like Future's not fucking with Drake. And then, like, Drake has not said anything publicly. Like Future and Future hasn't said anything. So just keep it on the back end. Excuse me. Make uh -huh. music, make their money together. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, that's, that's mature on Drake's end, but yeah, I don't know. I haven't heard the song yet. They haven't released it, right? Did you watch for, Did you watch, hear, watch the video and hear the song First Person Shooter? No. First Person Shooter Mode. He said, uh, J. Cole said, who's the GOAT? Is it me? Is it, uh, uh, is it uh, Aubrey? Is it uh, Drake? Or mm -hmm. it's somebody else, right? And then pretty much, pretty much Kendrick came back and he goes, I'm the GOAT. Uh -huh. <laughs> he goes, I'm the motherfucking goat. I don't know who you're talking about. Top three. I'm. There's no top three. I'm the one. Yeah. And then pretty much Kendrick says, like honestly, I was watching Ada Ross. He says he talked to Kendrick's people and he has like a track loaded. Mm. Drake hasn't responded. Yeah. I'm a music fan. You feel me? I grew up listening to uh, Drake. Yeah. I grew up listening to like uh, Aubrey and then Kendrick. Uh, around middle school, I got really into Kendrick with Mad City. You mm -hmm. know. Was that was that was that actually for high school? I think that was high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Mad City. Mad um, City. But bro, Drake always comes whenever he comes back with a diss track, that shit goes viral, viral. Push a T hung. Yeah. Push a T hung. So pause. 
If I had a, <laughs> if, if, if I had a pick, who's gonna have a better diss track? Lyrically might be Kendrick, but song wise will be Drake. All right, so the homie has a picture pulled up. Max is gonna probably put that picture up there too, right? So on uh on the Kendrick side, you got Future, Metro, Travis, uh-huh. uh, and then you got the weekend on that other side too. You don't see it on there, but the weekend's on there too. Uh-huh. So the weekend's beefing with Drake too. Toronto. Oh, shit. It's called a Silver War, bro. Damn. And then Rick Ross is on that side too. On whose side? Kendrick. Kendrick's side. And you know how many songs Rick Ross and Drake made together? A lot, right? A lot. Day Scheming, right? Was Day one Scheming's of them. one of them. Yeah. Uh, what's it called? Ashton, Martin, yeah, Music, Classics, yeah. you know what I mean? But who honestly, think, at the end of the day, to me, that? huh? Who do you think is going to come out on top of that? Bro, Kendrick's a different motherfucker, but Drake is too. So I really, it's just the way this all plays out because, uh-huh. like, if you be really honest, like, mainstream media really fucks with Drake heavy, but if you're lyrical, like, people just, like, in general, like, oh, Drake's came on a new song, let me listen to it. Oh, it's fire before it even plays, bro. Yeah. You got to really listen to it, because it is art, you know what I mean? It is yeah. fire, but you just saying it's fire before you listen to it, that's what kind of fans Drake does have, too. Mm-hmm. Kendrick's fans are real fans, like, to the point where, not saying Drake fans are not real, but Kendrick's fans are real, like, music heady heads, you feel yeah. me? They like the switch-ups, they like the lyrical play, they like the uh, wordplay, all that, you know? Right, right. So... I'm very entertained, which I shouldn't be that entertained off someone's like beef or fighting with each other. Uh-huh. But I feel like Jake Cole's gonna come out out of yeah. random thing. It's because it's gonna give us new fresh. It's music. gonna give us new shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, I think this is good. I feel, I feel like this, this is about back then. Used to be like this though. Yeah, exactly. They used to come at each other's necks. Pause. But I feel like this is dope no Diddy. For, uh, I feel like this is dope just because bro's about to drop an album, so you know this is gonna create a bunch of like. Mm-hmm. Uh, Who's dropping album? Uh, Kendrick? No, uh, Future. Future, right? Yeah. So when he drops that, leading up, this is gonna help build hype, build hype, build hype, and he's gonna have great. Already dropped it. Oh, he already did. Yeah. Oh shit. That's the song. The song was in there. I haven't even heard the song. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, I just bro, been that snippets. song I heard it so many times, mm-hmm. over and over and over. Hey, show him the lyrics. Show him the lyric to the Kendrick part. He fucking ate. Oh, I gotta spit. You got a shit or you got spit? <laughs> He said all these weird weirdos with the check talking out of the side of the neck because Drake's from Nike. Mm-hmm. And then he started going off with him. He's like, Prince outlived Mike Jack. You know what I mean? Because yeah. they say he's a great, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And no, then he, he, he said first go person shooter. Nah, he, the flow was fucking. Mm-hmm. So uh, back to it. So I just uh, played Joe the song right there. So I have the lyrics right there. Probably play on the screen later. Let's start off with on the front part. He goes, all these weirdos talking on the side of the neck with the check. Mm-hmm. Who is that? It's towards Nike and Drake, you said? No, it's just okay, it's, all, it's all on Drake. Then he talks about all the dogs, first-person shooter mode. Mm-hmm. And then he says, uh, he says, Prince Outlive Mike Jack. He was once a thug. He, uh, You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I was like, what the fuck? <coughs> Damn, Honestly, he, he, went, he went hard on the... Uh, the song is like the... I think, I think it's probably the most hurt song on... Uh, so, on We Don't Trust You, it just came out. Uh, <laughs> like... Uh, the song's called uh, We Don't Like You, right? Like, it's called Like That. Uh-huh. It's called Like That. So, honestly, I'm really not just Drake's diss. I want to see if J. Cole says something about it. Or I, I want to see how is. J. Cole reacts. <laughs> Who do you think is the best rapper right now out of all three of those? Your opinion. In order. I'll go with J. Cole. J. Cole's the best? Yeah. For you, in your opinion? In my opinion. Why? Just because, like, you know, obviously wordplay, like, the way he raps on, like... The way he raps, I feel like for me Drake is like more of like a like a club catchy vibe type shit. J Cole, I just want to sit and listen to him smoking, chilling. You know what I mean? Like, and then Kendrick, same thing. Like, I just want to smoke and chill and try to figure out his wordplay and shit like that. But like, Kendrick to me is very like I would say like out there or wild with his flow so his flow is uh, yeah he he has one of the (laughs) best flows i ever heard yeah drake has a switch up game exactly cole has the wordplay so So i I just is there only one goat no i don't think there can be just one goat because i feel like they're different all three of them are different bro yeah and at least in there has to be one goat yeah and like at the end of the day only time can tell who's gonna be the goat because mm-hmm. that's what, how you finish your career off with. I think it'll be people Drake can remember this when they're yeah. talking about the conversation. Who's, the, who's the best? Out of these three, who do you think is a goat? I think Drake is. That is very true. Is the biggest out right now. Yeah. 
But I, I have numbers. to go with I have to go with Drake, <coughs> and I am a I am a Kendrick fan too. But with all these projects Drake dropped, I've been listening to from City Is Mine mm -hmm. all the way on to So Far Gone album, mm -hmm. all the way going forward. And I'm like, I, I really fuck with Drake, bro. Like Drake yeah. hops on the remix as his song, yeah, type shit. You know yeah, what I mean? Literally, that's not even your song no he more. Kills that shit. So that says a lot. Kendrick's flow is like his. His flow is just sweet, bro. I love his flow, bro. Like his so, his flow is so great. But yeah, J Cole's fire. J Cole's fire. But I'd have to go with Drake. Mm -hmm. I love TD. Yeah. Shout out TD. Don't be mad at me, Smack. Don't be mad at me, nobody. Yeah. I'm. Uh, Y'all are gonna say I'm just picking sides. Preference. It's my personal opinion. Yeah. Because I do fuck with all of them. It's not fuck all three of them. You know no, what I mean? No. no. Um. And I feel like as far as it goes, Drake is definitely above them both by far. Why? Because all his music on almost every album, there's three to five songs that you'll play 10 years from now, 20 <laughs> years from now. Yeah. You know, Jake Cole, Forest Lawn, and like a few other songs that he has, you know. Forest um, Lawn. <laughs> that you'll, Forest you'll, Drive. Or Forest, whatever it is, yeah. <laughs> you'll, you'll still play, especially if you're chilling type shit. But like Drake, very, how do you say, like multi- Bro, you can't no, you can't sit like down and say more okay. diverse. Even if I you, don't know. yeah, for sure, more diverse. Yeah. He does a lot of different genres. Just mm -hmm. not he doesn't just rap. He's yeah. in, he's in different. Uh, he's a singer too as well. You know yeah. what I mean? He's an artist. He's on Mexican songs with Bad he's Bunny and a, shit. Yeah, he's, Come a, he's on. an artist, bro. He's an artist. That's like Lil Wayne back in the day, but just Drake, a different era. You know, that's why Drake, uh, Lil Wayne, still forever my favorite artist ever. Lil Wayne forever will be the goat to me. <laughs> Lil Wayne over all three of them. For yeah, show for sure. Hell show. yeah. All day. Uh, and then, like, growing up, like, the first song that really put me on, like, Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne, mm -hmm. not Hot Boys, but was, like, Go DJ. Yeah, I was going to say that. DJ. Go DJ. Go DJ. That's my DJ. <laughs> That's that the one, song that, that put me one, on. I fucking started fucking with Heavy. <laughs> and then every single Lil Wayne song that used to come after, I was like, That's the best rapper yep. alive. Because he used to say that shit. You yeah. know what I mean? And I felt it. I was like, damn, like, you really... That's when I first, like, you got to believe in yourself. Lil Wayne really taught me how to, like, really believe in yourself. Yeah. And the way he was, like, he was, like, talking about, uh, like, certain thing. What was the what was the one lyric he said? Uh, There's no S's in something? I don't know. Hold on. So many His wordplay is just different. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't fucking say it. It's not lasagna. No. No, but, yeah, Lil Wayne, bro. It's dope to say that Lil Wayne is, is the one kind of helped create a dri drizzy. Hey, MJ, what's that lyric when Lil Wayne? MJ, what's that lyric when Lil Wayne says, uh, he goes, I, something is like lasagna, or I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, he goes, real G's move in silence like lasagna. <laughs> Like, there's, if you say lasagna, you don't say lagania. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the shit Lil Wayne be making me yeah. think, bro. Shit like that. And then, honestly, for even Lil Wayne's song, when I was younger, I used to listen to his lyrics. But even getting older, I'm listening back. I'm like, oh, I fucking get it. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great, it's timeless music. Yeah. All three of them make timeless music. You feel me? Out of Drake, J. Cole, and Kendrick. Mm -hmm. But who do you think the victor in the rap world is going to be after? Not just the artist world, the best rapper right now. I don't know. It might, it, bro. If Kendrick comes, bro, he might put himself there. But, <laughs> but they said Kendrick's last album flop. But what the fuck does that even fucking mean? Mm -hmm. Every they say Drake does that same thing. They say Lil Wayne did the same thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like when you're great, everyone's so judgmental and they look past everything except for how great music and the message you're sending out. It's mm -hmm. like, or oh, he's better than that. I'm better than so and so. I'm better than this. Or oh, we're better than that. Not all of you motherfuckers are great. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's just you're great in your own lane. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel like with all these different types of platforms that you can stream your music on, like, that probably doesn't come into play as far as that. Like, they want to go off sales? Well, no, things are different nowadays. People would just get their music to a different platform. They could listen to it to YouTube without buying it. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, I know Kendrick simple. and J. Cole are big around the world. <laughs> you think Drake's... I feel like Drake is, like, the biggest artist in the world. Um, I feel like um, Adele or... Mm. Taylor Swift are the some of the biggest Taylor Swift artists is the biggest. Sorry, I'm sorry. In the world, but um, nah, hip hop bro, artists. If you Drake. go to India, they're listening to Drake, Hot, uh, Hotline Bling. Yeah, and over Dubai there, like, and all that. Huh? Yeah, yeah, Dubai stuff. Oh, they all listen to that shit. Yeah, but like, bro, I'm talking about. You got to think like most of this this country is, I think, white dominant. So it's like Taylor Swift, Justin Bieber, to fucking the Taylor weekend Swift. number three, Drake four. These are most streamed. 
five Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. Six Rihanna. Rihanna. Seven crazy. Beyonce. Beyonce. I thought it'd be Beyonce before Eight, Rihanna. Eight Ed Nine Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny. I can see that. Eminem, Eminem is ten. Still? Eminem is ten. That's crazy. Over Lil Wayne. Hey, yeah, cause crazy. all the white people be listening to Eminem. For oh sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out my white people. Oh damn, I didn't know that. Drake is at four. Weekend's at weekend's bigger than Drake. That's crazy. Wait, the weekend is bigger than Drake. Well, was some of the, look Taylor Swift. I said it number one. Boom. Number one. Look how many streams she has, though. Ridiculous. Where does it say that? Her score. What is it? What is it? What does the score mean? What the fuck does score mean? Who the fuck Who does knows? the score? Who good fuck? Yeah. But Taylor Swift, look, every time we go to a different city and Taylor Swift is in town, hotels are three times the price. Yeah. Oh, you know for I mean? sure. Hey, who's Ed? What song? Ed Sheeran. What does he have? He's a he's a different What cat. song? I, I bet you I have a song in my... You definitely have a song in your playlist, and you probably know the, all the lyrics to Ed Sheeran's three, four songs. There has to be songs I know by this guy. I don't know. Perfect is fire. Uh-huh. Bro, he has songs with a lot of artists, too, and shit. Ed Sheeran has a song with Lil Wayne. Oh, shit. You know that? That's crazy. That's crazy as fuck. I did not know that. Hey, what's the song called with Lil Wayne and Ed Sheeran? Let that me up. check. Huh? I'm gonna see if I have a song by this guy in my album, my Apple. Hey, out there, look, look, go look on your phone if you have a playlist song by Ed Sheeran next to uh, fucking Big Thirty. <laughs> I don't. Crazy. Ed Sheeran and Lil Wayne don't have a song. <laughs> oh, I, I guess I was fucking wrong. Yeah. And hey, but talking about the music industry, bro. How fucking weird is it right now? I know you motherfuckers know what we're finna talk Let's about. Get into it. No Diddy. <laughs> Bro. First of all, let's go that. They don't even say nothing else anymore except for no Diddy. No. Before we get into current, let's retract to like the other shit that people were warning us about. Like the Cat Williams interview. He said this year, all 24, everyone's getting exposed. And he literally said Diddy. Before all this shit started happening... And then the Cassie incident happened. She not Cassie that, incident happened before. Yeah, yeah, that Cassie. happened first. That broke the door to everything. And then Cat Williams started really letting people know what's gonna happen, and shit started happening, bro. I'm not gonna be that one to say the names, but I have a lot of homies that were around, like around like Cassidy and stuff, and they said they see you get beat up twice by Diddy. Oh shit! Yeah, that's crazy, but. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I heard instances <laughs> of Wale getting hung. Oh, damn, bro. <laughs> off air. What, do you hear the uh, thing what happened with Wale when he tried to make a song with Cassidy? No. Diddy and his bodyguards hung him from the side of the balcony on the uh, at the. Oh, the I remember that. Remember that? Yeah. So you keep hearing diff from different people mm -hmm. and different people, and it's just not one person. It's twenty different people coming out with their own story. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And when you're friends with successful people in the entertainment business or the music industry, they control media or they could have a major influence on media. They could just, you know, tell people stop reporting about that shit and then everyone goes fucking ghosts or forgets about it. Media is a lie too sometimes, yeah. but and it tell, sometimes it has truth in it. But I feel like in this instance right here, I'm not going to say he's guilty because... Uh -huh. We see all the shit looking like he's guilty, but you know how media portrays nah, it, right? Guilty. You got the F you got the they feds literally, involved. They they what got, do they say? What do you what do they always say? Feds aren't coming unless they got a strong case. You know what they got the case for, right? What? Sex trafficking, Sex trafficking. and drug trafficking. Yeah, underage. They shit. got young they got his fucking side yeah. bitch, young mommy fucking trafficking Tusi, mm -hmm. which is XCC crossed with cocaine. So like that's fucking what the fuck, bro? So they got Homeland Security involved, which is, you know, still federal, but they got that involved because of the sex trafficking, bro. And and what's crazy is I've been seeing a shitload of stuff on, on social media about people talk previously talking about it of shit that's been going on, uh -huh. but no one really, like, paid attention close to it because it's Puff Daddy, P. Daddy Combs, you know Calls. what I mean? So Calm it's, like, Daddy. crazy. <laughs> I know. You can't even say that no, no more, bro. But it's just crazy that, you know, motherfuckers out here really going through it and it's real bro like it's real i think he's i think he's guilty of bro, he left 80, them kids 80 percent of whatever the fuck he's uh they're talking about bro you got fox news talking about it bro come on bro like, if y'all want to let's break it down detail. Just a real. lot of people don't know about this so pretty much they raided his houses and but he left his kids yeah. and then he said he's getting on a, a flight to uh cape verdes the caribbean or whatever. caribbean islands where you can't get extradited yeah and he's gonna beat his case from there you know but you know who's getting the who's getting the like laugh ended laugh at this? What? Fifty Cent. 
that part. But hold on, before we get yeah. there, apparently, I don't know if it's true, but they're saying that, okay, now they got him. They got Danny in custody, and now he's talking. He's like, there's other They have him in custody? Involved. That's what I don't even know what's saying. going on right now. There's so much <laughs> fake news out there, too. Huh? There's a lot of fake news out there, too. Yeah, but <laughs> you got to think a lot of people are covering this now, so I see multiple people uh, in news things saying that Diddy's talking to him because they talking to feds. They don't really just want him. They want the people more involved with the sex trafficking because it's, it's crazy. Shit, I need water. Eat some oranges. <laughs> Man, get my get orange. my water in the car, bro. We can wait, chill. Yeah. Hey, let, uh, no, we hey, can still talk because it's. Hey, so pretty much, <coughs> l let's go into this. So like, let's just say, uh, Diddy does talk and uh -huh. all that stuff gets starts getting exposed, right? You know how many other things are happening? I feel like this is a big ass distraction. Yeah. I feel like they did this on purpose to distract everybody because I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. If or this is to be blunt, right? Yeah. I've been going on my Instagram feed for the past like months and months. I've been seeing all these kids from Ga uh, from Gaza uh -huh. like being killed and stuff. And now it's just that shit just disappeared about two weeks ago. And I haven't seen one post except for uh, I've been seeing it on TikTok because TikTok is more people are posting and posting and posting and they're not getting controlled by Meta, right? Yeah. That's why they want them to sell that shit. You feel yeah. me? Because now in Instagram, they blocked every single thing that's going on with the genocide too. So that's like fucking scary as fuck to me how they control that, bro. Uh huh. And I feel like they're just distracting us right now with all these things. And I know that shit's going on yeah. because I, I know there's a lot of fucking... Remember we talked about Dan Snyder and all that fucking weird shit last week? Mm -hmm. And then Hollywood, how weird Hollywood is. And mm -hmm. then now we're sitting here, bro, as as just people in the world, right? Yeah. And you see, like, all this weird stuff happening, right? Going through, This shit's about to go to... Like Cat Williams says, this shit's about to hit the fucking fan. Yeah, bro. But I feel like they're doing it while distracting and everything's going on in one time. It's kind of fucking weird. Yeah. Russia's going to war with Israel over there with Syria, and they're not even talking about that. Yeah. It's like... It's a cover-up. It's like a bunch of cover-up, bro. Yeah. It, what does it make you feel like, bro? I don't know. Like, Do they think we're dumb? No. I, yeah, well, it just I just feel like that just goes to show how much impact social media has on people. You know what I mean? Because it's so quick to flip the switch onto something so that th they could do stuff behind closed doors that we probably wouldn't approve of. They're you like, know what look I mean? here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and, and it's all distraction, bro. And all all I feel like it's just, it's just like ways to distract us and just hide what's really going on. But at the same time, shade us with stuff that's also going on that's in our front door. You get what I'm trying to say? But, bro, it's, now they're even saying, like, to kind of go back on the P. Diddy shit. They're going now. People are saying Jay Z is also going to be brought in. They because they used to be best friends and party exactly. together. Exactly. All the people that were friends and partying and ain't saying shit right now because yeah. they're probably worse than bro. Yeah, bro. LeBron James was like, "They ain't no party like the Diddy party." I was like, "Bro, what the fuck?" <laughs> yeah. And then I can't like honestly, it started like this. I didn't understand it at first. I kept hearing Fifty Cent talk about making fun of Fifty Cent. He goes. This man tried to take me shopping. He yeah. said, I want to go shopping like I'm a woman. Yeah. He's you know like, what I mean? He'll pay for everything. I'll pay for everything. And then you kind of like look it off. Then you start seeing like uh, him going off at... Uh, hey, you filled this up? Yeah, there's literally no water. Oh, I was like, I didn't even have this much water. I was like, there's there's no... Uh, damn, it made me forget what I was saying. We're talking about the whole Jay-Z thing. Oh, so, uh, so pretty much... <laughs> 50 Cent. The, the whole point was like... He, he was saying weird things to all these people and make them feel uncomfortable. It was like, why don't you come to my party? Why don't you tell me happy birthday and come celebrate with me? And, and they're like all getting creeped out. Yeah. No, all those people know what's going on, but they're Hell not yeah. saying shit. Feel me? And I felt I was watching something. Like, you know how Diddy was coming up? There's not like a lot of cameras and stuff going mm -hmm. live on social media and stuff, right? So all those people weren't saying shit and being around because he had money. And the money was like, oh, he has money. It's, it's just wiping everything right. off, Right. You motherfuckers could have said something. You're yeah. just as guilty. You feel yeah. me? All that weird shit, bro. Sex trafficking, doing, it's just like pressuring people to do certain things to make them go to a certain level status is sucking weird ass shit right there. And it's hitting the fan. And we're about to find out. But where's the Epstein list? Where's the fucking Epstein <laughs> list? Yeah, where's that one? And I feel like that one's actually going to be hidden. They're playing with us, bro. They're playing that with us. That one's probably going to be hidden because there's actually more. Celebrities, more successful people, high, higher up people on that list more than P. Diddy's. But honestly, bro, I feel like it's all a, a cult. It's all like they a all circle, bro. They get They're together. all involved in this shit, bro. They're and all they're trying involved. to hide this shit fast as fucking yeah. possible. Yeah. And But like the thing is, power social media, as much as it's like that, 
these motherfuckers do not quit. No. There's so many different ones. They can create accounts left and right. I just wonder how many people are also going to come out and be like, you know what? I was an artist under Diddy, and yeah, he made me do shit. I wonder how many other people are going to come out and say something, bro. It might be a lot. His son, his son literally was like, we're watching, his son's picture right there. Uh-huh. The uh, Christian comes, not Christian. Justin. What's the other one? Justin. Yeah. No, no, it's a Christian. Uh, the, uh, oh, yeah, the yeah, one. Justin. He, he, he put, uh, Christian Combs put uh, on his Instagram story, stop with all the cap. Uh-huh. I seen that. And he's having his birthday party at PH on this weekend on Sunday. Mm. You know what I mean? So yeah. he's like, it's not stopping him. Yeah. So so I'm looking at this shit like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, yeah, You, yeah. you feel me? If my dad was going there, I would be fucking doing partying and shit like that. No no offense to you. You can do whatever you want to do, my boy. I have nothing to say to you on yeah. that aspect because live your life. Yeah. But this is like kind of getting crazy. Bro, bro, there's no way in hell the sons didn't see anything, bro. That's His why. son's right there being arrested. They fucking yeah. manhandled him and put him outside. I know the older one doesn't have a good relationship with him and who fucking knows why. Like Quincy? You know, yeah. I bet you he know we. I bet you this is, has something to do with it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You're not gonna approve of that. I mean, realistically, bro. Like, I, that's just crazy. Damn, they didn't even list Quincy on there. He looked at Diddy's son. His other son's not even. Hey, on if there. my dad was doing that shit, I'd rat his ass out <laughs> instantly, bro. <laughs> Calling the cops myself, bro. Fuck that. What do you think you did? He, what would you say? <laughs> my dad's fucking pedophile. Come get him right the fuck now. But you want to know what's crazy? Usually if parents are pedophiles, they do it on their own kids. Really? Yes. Dang, bro. <coughs> That's fucked up. I swear up. to God, bro. Normally you'd be protecting your kids from everybody else. Yeah. But now it's like really wild. You got to protect these kids from their parents? Yeah. That's, That's even worse, bro. But you know what? What's I up with all this weird shit, bro? Stop you! Stop it! Stop you! Stop it! All, <laughs> these could be like what we were saying, all distractions. You know what I mean? What's going to come next or what's going on behind the curtains that we ha we haven't seen? Hey, tell me why the, uh, not to any anybody that passed away on the Boston Bridge, oh, but yeah. there's school shootings and it lasts a day. This this ship thing hit more media than any single thing I've seen. Yeah, I've seen a video of it hitting it. I watched the whole thing At about nighttime, it. Yeah. This, there's six workers maintaining on the, sh uh, on the bridge that passed away. Yeah, a lot But of they got a most, majority of the cars off the bridge before it collapsed. And the last car I seen go by like literally 10 seconds <laughs> before it hits that shit and it goes and the whole bridge falls. I was like, honestly, kind of hurt my stomach just yeah. watching that. But you see the ship, lights turn off. Yeah. Turn back on. Turn off again. It fucking goes right into and, the bottom part of it. And they the recovered the part of the ship that has the data system to see how fast it was going, what was going on, every mm -hmm. single thing. And everything checks out. And they got their audio recording of the captain going through everything. They put the anchor down, too, on the bottom to make it stop hitting it from mm -hmm. there. Then it hit the bridge, and that happened. It was very sad, bro. Yeah, it sucks. It's very sad, but they're just... The media is could be talking about everything right now, but they're not. They're yeah. only talking about certain things right now and hyping that those things up. People die every day. Seven people died. It says Bro, seven there's the, there's a bunch of movies that happen. Uh, there's shit like this in movies that happen like this, and it's basically like government related to cover up shit. You get what I'm saying? So I believe in it. I know it's probably just a conspiracy theory, but like, I mean, bro, these ideas are coming from somewhere. If there's some movies about this and that and pedophile shit. Hey, if you're on, out bro. there watching us, Americans right now in this country, <coughs> if you really walk around, we're really cool people. We're really dope people. And we're not like these rest of these people that yeah. try to represent us. Fuck these motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's a lot of good people out here. A lot of good Americans out here full of love, spreading positivity, uh, living, like living the dream of what they want to do and chasing their dreams. Yep. And pretty much the world's looking at the Western world like, Wow, is so they're so horrible. They uh, do genocide. Nah, I know if I go in person, a lot of people that I definitely know don't support that shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. So and support all these Hollywood weird things and every single thing they're against it. So I know we get followers from all over the world yeah. watching To Be Blunt. So let, let's 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 kind of switch it up a little bit, like because let's just say let's just we clearly see how much of an impact this music industry has on the world, not just music itself. Why Why do you think it's so, like, impactful? You know what I mean? Let me bring this up. You know Lucian Grange? No. He's the one that controls the music industry. Mm -hmm. If you didn't know, now you know. He's in Diddy's fucking, uh, like, and he's in the Diddy thing. He's Damn. arranged. So now they're looking at him now, too. It's all bad. It's all fucking bad right now. That's he's the crazy. main person, so you have to get through him to yeah. go into the music industry. Yeah. So now you see how fucking wild and devilish this shit is, bro? Okay, so now another situation, another angle... 
a lot of music and artists become drug addicts or just hit rock bottom at some point in their career. Do you think it's also because of all that shit? They probably had to suck dick or get ripped or fucking out of the, you know what I'm saying? Stuck for, <laughs> like, stuck for love. Like, do some crazy ass shit, bro. Like, and I'm just saying, like, I'm like, damn, this is probably why a lot of a lot of music artists, some some of them don't want to be signed to major rec, uh, le- record labels. They'd rather be independent, so they don't have to do they this wild shit. They even take advantage of the women, too. Yeah. You fucking order to put our song, your song out or <laughs> bro. get a song with so-and-so. It's, like, pretty fucking wild. And then you got to think, like, okay, some of these people that are the biggest in the world, some of them probably had to do some of this shit to get there. And they're just not talking about it. So then it's like, fuck, is the, name, the music industry set? all about sex? Not just new music, the entertainment. Or entertainment. Huh? What about him? He's one of them. He's one of what? He's one of them that got done too. Nah. Yes. Look it up. <laughs> he talks about it? Bro, you ever see here how he is? It's not really who he is. It's a painted here. How come he plays the same character in every single movie ever in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, It's bro. all a fucking facade. It's all a front. Yeah. You know what I mean? When I found out, the day I found out, that was two and a half, three years ago, right? Yeah. I was devastated. And I watched all this unfold, and then they did all that bullshit in Hawaii and every uh-huh. single thing, and then him and Oprah, you know what I mean? You'll figure out who it is. But that's just crazy, that. bro. Damn. But that's, that's how fucking fucked up it is, bro. Yeah. Also, oh. oh, I can say Kevin Hart, too. Cat Williams said it. Same thing. It's just not the music industry. It's every fucking thing. Yeah, the whole entertainment. Mm-hmm. Uh, man, and that to me, that just makes me like be happy that I never even pursued that industry. You know what I mean? Because how fucking. But now you can it make is. it. Now you can be popular and on your be, own. But me, me and MJ were talking about it. Now you can be really popular because there's so many different social media platforms yeah. that you can put on there. People are blowing up that aren't supposed to be famous. Right yeah, now. yeah, yeah. You know, facts, you're looking facts. at it like, what the fuck the fuck is he yeah. famous? But they're famous, bro. Yeah. Another person be like, nah, he doesn't got it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, he there's. Make it. But he's, they're popping. There's and some people, people on them. TikTok that I used to follow that, like, are, they do cover songs and then someone became famous as fuck and started doing features with big artists because of their own content and no, their own. Start you know? Somewhere. And it's dope to see because, bro, I wouldn't want to get into this industry if, if motherfuckers got a fucking get bu- or do some sexual shit just to fucking get up in this industry. Fuck that, bro. Yeah. Like, and that that Why do you is think these two be hanging that out? is part of selling your soul, bro. Why like, do you think these two be hanging out? No, I can see that. I can see people that like you know you always see certain people clicking up with certain people. This side is that side. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, I know about this art uh, actor, but I haven't worked with him because you know what I mean. Like, I can see that. They try to control the whole narrative, bro. They try to control the whole narrative, bro. The elites or whoever the fuck you want to call I think them. all of that shit's so connected to everything that's going on in the world, bro. Yeah. I mean, look look at this. Like, we had a guest on uh, a few episodes ago, and he didn't want to get into the record label shit. And I understand, you know that, what I mean? But that says a lot. Yeah, that says a lot alone. That says a lot alone. So it's just crazy because, bro, you guys can't hide this shit. Now it's really becoming known, you know what I mean? I guess... That's also why people want to become their own boss in the music industry or entertainment industry, bro. Because they don't want to be puppets or sexually abused. Fuck. God bro, damn. like, if I'm having kids in this world, I'm just going to, uh, like, literally, like, educate them and get them ready when it's time to time. I'm going right. to tell them the truth. I'm going to, like, literally talk about it. I'm like, this is the happiness in the world, and this is what it is. But you have to educate your people around you mm-hmm. so they know what's going on. You know what I mean? Right. It's like... It's like you don't want to let the homie like get set up dirty, you know what I yeah, mean? No. Yeah. Ah! <coughs> but anyways, <coughs> on other weird note, dude, did you see that guy? He's like a uh, he's like a nurse, or whatever, dude. And but he oh, let's married, talk about it. This dude married a set of uh, conjoint twins. Fucking so weird. they're like they're put together. They got like two legs, but like they got two legs, two arms, yeah, but two heads, right? Two heads, right yeah, in the middle, yeah, right yeah. Here. So it's like. Uh, they were really famous because they came on the Dr. Phil Oprah show, Dr. Phil, back in 1996. You can and tell who's older. No, 100%. You, you can tell the one he didn't marry. Yeah, wild. <laughs> yo, yo. See, I be telling you, he's saying wild ass shit. I didn't even, I didn't even want to judge you. You know, that dude's her. a freak MJ, and a weirdo. God MJ. damn. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much. You know, look, bro's a weird Joe, as fuck Joe, what if for you that. Had two baddies like How that? many boobs do they have? Two. 
Hey, if they had four, <laughs> he he won. <laughs> if they hey, had nah, four, nah, he nah, won. Nah, nah. Look, so look, he only marries the one on the left. Damn. But the one on the right, so close, to enjoying it. I wouldn't want to look so at like, that. So let's say it's time to make a baby. They only got one coochie, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so look, so like she's enjoying it the whole time. Doesn't it matter? Is he cheating? He should have married both of them. But bro's having married both of them. Huh? Bro's having a threesome the rest of his life, bro. Hey, but what if she could marry, find somebody else? Imagine look. Getting your dick sucked by the one on the left and then looking at the one on the right? <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> my shit is going Bro, down. she has to see his dick when she's yeah. sucking it, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. Ugh. Hey, what if you, like, both of you at the same time? <laughs> one was probably born, like, 10 minutes. Oh, wait, no, they're born at the same time. Yeah, God they're damn. popping out at the same time. Yeah, and you know they're both sucking dick. Damn it. <laughs> That's the best head. That, I got the left the ball. You, you got the right it. ball. <laughs> Oh my god, that's the best. Yo. Hey, imagine hitting him from the back. He pulls two hairs. No, hey, no. Imagine and he's like, "Yo, I'm tonight. I'm fucking you. Tomorrow you get it. Tomorrow you get it." But what do you mean? You're getting it at the same time? No, but imagine you're so weird that you're like, "I'm fucking you tonight, Brenda." I'm and not. Guy, I'm not gonna look at Samantha tonight. Just you. <laughs> like, do you think the guy the fell fuck? in love with that other girl's like personality? Nah, he's just a fucking weirdo, bro. <laughs> You're just a fucking... Look at you. I want to see them have a baby now. Is that even possible? I want to know. I'm sure there's a, there's a three humans. <laughs> Imagine he has a... They have a kid and they have two heads, too. No way. Two guys? Two, two, okay. No, I don't even want to get nah, it. I was going to say some wild ass shit Let's get back, into it. Let's get back right into it, Joe. Let's get back into it. I got to ask. You think their vaginas I one? know. That's what I'm saying. They got the same coochie. Now, let's go to this now. Can I uh -huh. ask you this? So, now, let's just say she finds the other girl that's not married. She finds somebody else, too. Oh, my God. So, now, they're like... They're swingers now. Oh, now, they're swingers. I didn't think swingers. about it like that. I didn't think about it like that. Yeah. You she think? has to. She's going to try to find someone. Because, like, yeah, because uh, the one has to sleep on this side and sleep on this side. It's going to have to be his brother or his cousin. Cause they're bro, that's weird. pretty weird, bro. They're weird. That's weird as fuck. So, wh bro, so whoever she marries is White his Eskimo twin. White people are wild, bro. So whoever she marries is his Eskimo yeah. twin immediately. And I'll ask you a question. If yeah, you yeah, bust yeah. him on the face, are you busting up both of them? <laughs> you have to. <laughs> you might as well spray them both. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Come here, bitch. You can't go nowhere. <laughs> How does the one other one give consent and the other one yeah. doesn't? Like, I don't feel like fucking tonight. <laughs> What's the cock blocking one? That makes the relationship very, very, like, what if one just hates the other one? Yeah. You know that, bro, nah, the sister, the ugly one is like, this is the best I'm going to get, so fuck it. You like, want to get? You want to know something funnier? What? what if the one in the left gets a divorce and marries the one in the, <laughs> the one Damn. right? Damn. Damn. I I don't even know how that works. That'd be crazy. No, they. Uh. Let me see more pictures of them. Hey, uh. they're <laughs> bro. <laughs> Stop judging people. I'm running. You <laughs> wear your face like that, bro. That's disgusting. <laughs> What if they're hot? I'm sorry, guy. What if they're hot? I'm sorry. They're not. What if they were? Far from it. What if they were? If they have what, four, what, what, if there was four boobies and they're <laughs> hot, run it. You would have got married to them? Bro, that's two top games, bro. Bro, hey, you break. <laughs> you press gas. <laughs> <laughs> no way. That's crazy. <laughs> no way. So can one control one side and the other control the other side? Is that how it works? I don't know, bro. Damn. What if only one gets to control and the other one gets a free ride and she just like living? <laughs> you drive today. No, I'm not driving. You drive today. I thought you were going to press brake. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Hey, hey. bro. Hey, they're, that's honestly, I'm very, like, other, in other notes, bro, one thing about, uh, I'm really proud of them before because yeah. a lot, of, I looked this up when I was younger, bro. Uh -huh. A lot of the people don't even make it past like an age of 9, 10, 11, oh, 12. They don't? they don't, bro. Bro. Honest to God, bro, I'm so happy they're living a really yeah, good yeah, life. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. They got married. It's hard to get married like that. It's like, that you know is. what I mean? They're they figuring shit out. They got to play different cards. Imagine there's two of you. <laughs> you feel me? Bro, that, why is it the white people are always the weirdest ones, bro? Bro, stop. Don't say that. Okay. Why? <laughs> why? 
Fuck that. Fuck it. Keep that shit in there, Fuck bro. It. Bro, what? Oh my bro, no, look. The other day I seen this video, right, of this fucking, this, this fucking son. <laughs> the mom called the cops on him because they found a beheaded a head in his in the trash bag in the closet. That's to the left. Okay. Yeah, I know, but that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> that's the to way the bro left. was bro was like, you know, I was depressed. I just took a stroll, a drive, and I seen this 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 thing laying right there in his body, and I just decided to go get my knife and cut him off. The way he explained it, bro, was just so calm. He's like, I knew I was probably gonna go to jail, what, like 15, 20 years, but I was like, what the fuck? Yo, white people are crazy, bro. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you, but <coughs> you know what's crazy in the white person? What? A Florida white man. What? A Florida white man. Why? Florida people are just different, bro. You ever seen a Florida man? No, I feel like the craziest you ever seen a ones are in the southern areas. Like, that, fuck that is southern. It, oh. it, look, look up a Florida man. Put a Florida man. Like, look, look it up. A Florida man. Look. So pretty much like a flo- like it there was like one with bat salts, date his daughter. Oh Jesus! Like weird shit, bro. Like look, that's the shit that's going on in Missouri. And no, shit like Florida that. is the wildest state out of all of our fifty states, bro. Flo- <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> Florida is fucking wild, bro. Nah, bro. I, hey, under the comments, which is the wildest state in the whole United States? Who you think? I think it's Florida. Florida got alligators, snakes, py- like python snakes, fucking uh, different type of lizards. Bro, what about sna- Australia? They got kangaroos walking around trying to sock you That's out, bro. That's not in America. <laughs> that, no, I'm talking about oh, Australia okay, okay. might be, Florida might be the Australia of America <coughs> without the kangaroos. Bro, imagine going to Australia, you, you want to walk up to a kangaroo and he starts trying <laughs> to square up. Hey, you know there's different, <laughs> Australia has the most deadliest venomous snakes and uh, snakes and spiders I feel like next is fucking Florida. Bro, answer the question. If you go to Australia, right, yeah. and you know you got to go see a kangaroo, and they fucking square up on you, what are you doing? If I'm like, if I can get away, I'll get away. You feel me? Yeah. If there's no way, I feel like I got to choke them out. They chase you, bro. <laughs> you choke them out. Bro, bro. I'm, cha- I'm, I'm You got to choke them out. Yeah. You got to literally choke this motherfucker out until he passes out. And then you get the fuck up and run. Probably, and come bro. Damn. Huh? They'll drown you, and they got oh, claws. Fuck. They got claws. Yeah, they got little hands. And they cut you. They cut yeah. you up too. So look, did you see that man? Uh, oh, fight? look at that. He got his dog. Look, he got his dog. Right, the the man got his dog. You can play this video. Look, bitch. Look at that. I'm squaring up. One hit though. <laughs> he squared up. But he hit him he one time. Squared up, bro. <laughs> he hit him one time. I'm squaring up, bro. Oh God. But he hit him. I swear look, to God, I'm squaring up. Of it. But look, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that shit fucking. If he kicks you, you see the claws. It's going through your stomach. You're dying. You you do not want to get kicked by it. He, if it, if this motherfucker kicked him in the stomach, he's dead. You see him? He's too close. But bam! <laughs> <laughs> he, he rethought his whole life. <laughs> he rethought his whole fucking life. <laughs> Why do you walk away? <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do. Cause that motherfucker kill you. Yeah. Okay. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> yeah. I'm hitting on one two piece. Yeah, definitely Fuck hit that. him. He slapped. He opened. He didn't punch him. He's nice. He opened hand slapped him. No, he, he bitch slapped he punched him. him. No, he bitch slapped him. No, he punched him. Look, look, go back. He bitch slapped him. Look, look, he bitch slapped him. Oh fuck! Oh, no, he punched him. Close fist. He's a close fist. He punched. He, he stunned punched his him. bitch ass. Boom! Oh, look at he went back. Oh Bro, shit! Bro, they're taller than me, huh? A kangaroo? Not they're like, swole. They're swole. They're bigger than you. <laughs> not in person. They're swole. I'm telling you right now. No, put no put kangaroo muscles. Put kangaroo I, muscles. I'm Joe. You're not a kangaroo, bro. bro. A, ten, a grown, full grown. This is a baby kangaroo. He fought. He fought a little one. Oh, this fuck. is a big one. This is real. This is a big one, bro. <laughs> you fucking you up, Joe. You're not squaring up with this man. Hell no, <laughs> I'm running. <laughs> I'm I'm out. Fuck that. Fuck fuck my dog. Bro. I'm out, bro. Bro, look at this. They can have my dog, bro. I'm good, bro. bro. Fuck real, that. Hold on. Kangaroos are real animals, They're bro. They're on steroids, bro, bro. Why is this a real animal, bro? Yo. Bro, this is a real bitch. Bitch. <laughs> bitch. They're mean too, bro. Kangaroos be fighting yeah, each other. Yeah, I see a lot of TikTok videos. Hey, bro, I'm not fighting a kangaroo. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm Hell straight. no, not him. He look looks like bent Debo. Look at the fucking bucket. <laughs> That's Debo right there, bro. <laughs> look at the bucket. That Shit. bucket's fucked up. 
Bitch. Yep, back up. <laughs> hey, that's a diff. That's a that's a differently built one. No way. Nah. So you if, take I, it back. if I see a baby kangaroo, I'm punching that hoe. If he <laughs> Why are you punching me. a baby kangaroo? But if, if he if if it's that type of guy, nah, bro. Nah. That type of kangaroo. I'm not getting <laughs> Look my ass beat. I'll kick that the looks shit like out alien. of that one right there. <laughs> Look at <like> a chihuahua. <laughs> I'll kick the shit out of him, bro. <laughs> All right. I don't look. Am I like if I'm in the wild, right? You got two options. Remember the question I asked you. Uh -huh. So we go snowboarding, right? We, there's mooses there. What are you doing with the moose? And I'm snowboarding. Yes. Oh, I'm shredding, bro. I'm no. What out. if you fall off the board? Oh, then I'm, I'm taking fucked. a snowboard off and swing. Oh yeah, I'm trying. I'm gonna hit him. In I'm gonna try to ride him. No, I'm gonna hit him in his nose and hide behind trees. I'm gonna try to ride that bitch. What would you do? Zigzag? Run zigzagly? Like what the fuck? You just do no. Fuck you up. Yeah. Fucking mooses. Knock bears. Look oh, at that shit. Oh, shit. So there's, their antlers go about six, seven feet. Damn. So moose is definitely killing your ass. I've seen some of those in real life. They you know they huge. fight, though? Like, moose really, they charge you. They're a bit, they, they don't just stand there. Like, if you, a moose sees a person is going after he's Look at the car. That picture right there. That Jeez. picture right there with the car. The, bro, bro. The nah. fuck? <laughs> Bro, like, there's so many different animals in this world, bro. I'm riding bro. that hoe. All right, now check this out. There's one worse than all of these animals. Uh -huh. The fucking polar bear. This, the polar bear is the only animal that will not stop hunting you until you're got. Damn. It, even if you're not, like, they did the scientific experiments. They don't yeah. give up. That, he has the most stamina of not giving up and trying to get to his target and killing it. Jeez. It's worse than the wolf. I've seen that because uh, I've seen some videos oh, of them trying to get sealed. Oh, hell no, bro. Damn. I'm go okay, so look, now we got three options. 200 pounds. Oh, my God. It looks like it makes a grizzly bear look like a bitch. That's crazy. So look, you got three options. You got this kangaroo, you got this moose, and you got a polar bear. Fight one, fight one, run for one, and get killed by one. Go. Fighting the kangaroo, run running from the... The the moose or whatever, <laughs> and I'm, I'm you definitely dying. get killed by the I'm polar dying. bear. Yeah, bro, this is why I'm look carrying shoddy with me, bro. Bro, what the fuck? Look at that big ass a camper, bro. Whenever I go hiking or anything where I know there's like mountain lions, I got my thing on me because I'm a scare them, bro. Like I'm t put oh, a California's shot. mountain lions don't give a fuck, bro. Well, shit. I said okay, so I'm I gonna got 15 I'm gonna, rounds before they get to me, man. Oh, for sure. But I I'm going to 15. Alaska one day, bro. And in Alaska, I really I seen the moose in Salt Lake City, and I saw two of them, right? But I want to go see go to Alaska and see a real life grizzly bear from a distance. And at the zoo? No, I, in in real life. And then I wanted to yeah, see yeah at the zoo in real life. Nah, bro. nah, in, in nature. And I want to go see a moose in nature, and I want to see elk. Mm. I want to see. Elk I've go, seen elk. I want to see. Have you seen one? Yeah. Where? Going up <clears throat> to fucking Grand Canyon during the winter time. I seen an elk. The craziest place ever. You won't believe it, but MJ's seen it too. So what? I was I was hiking in the Malibu Mountains. <coughs> in the Malibu Mountains? MJ. That I'm was an elk, right? Santa Monica. Santa Monica Mountains, I seen elk. Crazy. I, look, Santa Monica, well, Santa Monica Mountain Elk. It was a deer. It was a deer? Yeah. What that's kind of what deer I'm was thinking. it? Mule deer. It was a, no, it was not a mule. It was a mule deer. You look at mule deer? Oh, never mind. Bro. Nah, not that. It was bigger than that. I don't know what the fuck kind of thing it was. Look, look at southern, uh, 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 like deer top animals in Santa Monica Mountains. It was not a fucking that, bro. Tell me why I thought it was an elk, bro. I was tripping, cause I was just, it was doing, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. We're hiking. I have football cleats on. And we're mm -hmm. deep into the fucking mountains, right? And I on the ground, I still have this, the uh, the head of a uh, one, uh, uh, like a deer, right? Oh shit! And I'm looking at them. The whole body was laid down like it died, but I've everything seen that died before, perfectly, yeah. right? You seen it, right? Well, no, I've, I I used to go uh, hiking in Claremont, and when I was exiting the trail, because it's like a big ass loop, Claremont Loop, they call it, and I get to the loop, and then the whole body's there, but the whole intestines and guts is gone. No, I seen it truly dry out, like no one touched it oh, ever. Oh, okay, okay. So it was perfectly. I was the first yeah. person to pick up any part of the bones, right? Yeah, yeah. Bro, after I did that, I looked up. This motherfucker was huge, bro. He was like, and he looked, he was like that. And but when you had you and he took off, right? Yeah. How big he was, I seen him go like that with pick his weight and just go off. I remember that sight, bro. That was a big ass fucking animal. I never think uh, LA had deers and shit. Yeah. LA has fucking deers, bro. She oh yeah, for sure, bro. What? Anywhere there's mountains, bro. There's deers, there's 
There's mountain lions, there's fucking coyotes, there's all kinds of animals in well, there. Well, when you think about it in the city, you mm-hmm. don't think about it, but there is, bro. bro the little forest area, and shit, they got fucking In deer. my area, like between Mount Sac or Walnut and West Covina, Walnut oh, area, got there's mountains there. over there, bro. There's coyotes, deer. I've seen them at nighttime, bro. I seen a skunk by your house. Yeah, there's skunks everywhere, bro. Man, uh, if I ever go <laughs> hiking, bro, and, uh, and um, you see a mountain lion and you, they're hunting you, what are you doing? You got to back up and you got to make noise. What if they keep following you? Ah, ah, I won't keep doing that time. Something I gotta beat the fuck out of because it's gonna, it, bro. It's me or him. Yeah. Fight or flight. Yeah. I'm either. Cho- I, I don't know if I could choke it out. You'd have to. I probably have to choke it out. That's the only way. Because I can't. I, there's no way it's going down me hitting it on the head. You no. Know, unless you hit it like ten times hard with a rock. Yeah. But I like, think it's gonna go for my throat, so I probably yeah, gotta protect my throat. Your so face the first thing sure. I'm gonna do is protect my throat. You know what I mean? In my eyes. You're I know most likely you're going to put up, your bro. arms out, bro. This is why I'm saying, bro. I know it's going to get me on my arms. I'd rather have, like, I'm not going to lose my arms. I might lose my fingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. as soon as it gets my head, I'm fucked. Because that's just dragging yeah, me. Yeah, hell yeah. And I'm fucked from there. Bro, I just, I'm letting I just out gotta shots. Know. I gotta if put- I see one that looks like that. Huh. What's scary is Jaguar? Jaguar is different. If I see anything like that, I'm letting off a You know round. what Jaguars do, and right? I'm shooting it at them. Hopefully I miss. Jaguar eats crocodiles in the fucking water. <coughs> Damn. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Show them the video. Oh, shit. It's right there. Well, look, this happens all the time. This ha- probably happened today. This happened. This is probably happening right now. They barely have any videos of jaguars. Because they're in the prowl. No, get it from the side of the thing. They can swim in the water. Oh, shit. Look at this shit. So pretty much look at this motherfucker. I'm not fucking with this animal right here. This is scarier than a tiger, bro. I'd rather face a tiger than face a jaguar, for sure. Look, it blends in. All that shit. <coughs> and it waits. <coughs> Look, you see it? What the fuck? He's <coughs> stalking him. Look how he jumped. Bro, he just bullied that man in his own house. Where does he have But look how strong neck? he is, though. Yeah, but he, they go to the neck every time. But look, uh, <clears throat> look at how you, look at how strong they oh, are. Oh shit! Look how strong they are. Look. That's crazy. Look how he's going uphill, fucking straight uphill. Yeah, I'm straight. Yeah. Okay. Fuck. Fuck all. I those think the polar bear is still more dangerous, though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, bro. I think polar bear wins it. But uh, anyways, guys. Uh, Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. I want to show a couple things off right now. Our two grand melted diamonds disposables just dropped. Yes, sir. Check those out right there. Those these will be at your local store by 420. So shout out to that. <laughs> and shout out to all the new subs. So shout out to all oh, the yeah, new sorry, subs sorry, in here. Ahead. If you're new in here, shout out to all the new subs in here. Yeah. Uh if you're from New York, I'm gonna be in New York on 420. Come fuck with me. I'm going to just stay posted on my IG at The Chief. I'll post more details on there. Uh, and then uh, fuck with AMG, too, going up. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. On that part. But, yeah, like, honestly, today's pod was Hell fucking yeah. took left, rights, yeah. jumps, and we ad- ended off with fucking polar bears and jaguars. Yep. You never know what you're going to get when you're at To Be Blunt. You know what I mean? Never know. But, yeah, you guys, <clears throat> thanks for subbing. Make sure you guys drop a comment. Shout out to the new ones, the loyal ones, the day ones. Appreciate you guys for sure. Stay tuned for our new two, our new dispos. And then pretty much this room right here that you see, we're building walls around there. I'm making my To Be Blunt studio. And it's going to be the most high-tech, high-fashion, high, just high as fuck in every category studio. You know what I mean? So uh, we're going to show you how we're going to build that out. I'm going to post that on our To Be Blunt Instagram from the construction, everything, making it through. But every single one of y'all that have been fucking with us, fucking with the Big Chief brand, fucking with me and my brother in general, like, and the whole squad, like, I truly appreciate y'all, yeah. you know what I mean? It means the world to me, especially when y'all come out to me and tell me why y'all like the pod and what's your favorite part and what helps you get through and what advice that you took from it, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So we're almost about to hit 7K subs, yeah. you know what I mean? Fuck yeah. We've been getting a lot of views on our reels and stuff, so our episode, if y'all can go in and share and everything, we've been getting thousands and thousands of views. And <clears throat> But our, uh, our main To Be Blunt episodes, they don't get... Like a lot of views because you know the shadow banners because the shit we talk about and the smoking and the and smoking shit. and shit. So yeah. go ahead and like share our platform because that the world will catch on one day. You know mm-hmm. what I mean. So 
I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Stay big chiefing. Yes, sir. Peace. Llama, llama, red pajama, I feel alone with I'm a mama, uh-huh, uh-huh Baby, llama wanna drink, llama, llama at the scene, uh-huh, uh-huh